I think that Jason, when you first meet him, I mean, he is a loner. He likes to be alone. He doesn't have a whole lot of friends, but he's also not really like in search of a lot of friends. And uh, I think his community around him is pretty okay leaving him alone. You know, he's like built up all these walls and ways of protecting himself. And then um, AJ comes into town and AJ kind of breaks down that wall immediately and sits down and is like, hey, you know, like I'm a new kid. You're obviously alone, but not a total loser. Like, let's get out of here. And um, and I, I think probably Jason's world starts to open up because he, it's opened up by AJ, and AJ starts introducing him to and pushing his boundaries and, you know, having him go out into the community and do things he wouldn't normally do. The script is epic, you know. It's, um, it is three stories in one, and that's truly unusual. And, um, and they're three really interesting stories, and they're three, three very different stories. And in, in a lot of ways, it's, you know, it's like a, it's a bank robber movie turned cop drama turned coming of age story, like all in the same movie. Um, but all, all um, which is what was in the script and what was really interesting. And then you know that, you know, Derek is behind it, directing it, so you know it's going to have this like gritty realism to it that he brings to his work. I think a lot of people are going to have really different um, experiences watching the movie. Um, I think it's a movie that like you, you have to, you're going to go along for a ride, you know, and you have to be ready for that ride. And um, you know, just like when we were making the movie, like you can't be too precious about anybody or anything because um, it's, you know, it's a lot like real life and, and things in real life don't last forever. So it's like this epic journey where you get to watch uh, 17 years of people's intersecting lives unfold in a kind of really beautiful way.